so this morning i am off to the gym i'm actually training with ap t today i'm just making myself some naked harvest pre workout i'm actually really excited for today's session i'm just gonna get that extra energy boost I'm gonna film my session for you guys like I always do. You guys really seem to enjoy that. And I'm also going grocery shopping later on today. So I thought I would do like a come grocery shopping with me slash a grocery haul because I know I get a lot of questions about that. And a grocery haul has been highly requested from you guys. So I thought I would kind of make this one a big health vlog for you guys, but let's go. <laughs> that was so intense but it was also so good literally in the first like 10 minutes of the session i was like i'm gonna vom like <laughs> i am not cut out for this i always think i'm quite fit until i change up my workouts and do something different i'm like oh my god um no but it was actually so good like i got my breath back eventually and i was like ready to go again but for a second there i was like oh my god but i'm really proud of myself because a big intention of mine this week was to kind of push myself with my training and kind of just work as hard as i can and i definitely think i did that this session as well as the whole week i really did push myself obviously i haven't been training that hard till i'm literally burnt out we don't want that but just kind of pushing myself because i know that i can and i know that i can give so much more and this week i've also kind of tried different workouts out like i did spin lardies if you guys have seen my most recent vlog and obviously i trained with a different pt today at reborn if you guys are wondering where i went um but i'm just gonna go head home now i need to do some grocery shopping so i'll just get dressed freshen up and get ready for the day and i'll talk to you guys once i'm ready and we can go grocery shopping together guys i just popped on my aircon and this honestly feels so good i'm so sweaty Blow on me. Ah, that's so nice. So guys, I just made myself some breakfast. I just made avocado toast. I used half an avocado on each one. Yeah, it's so funny because I used to hate avocado and then I kind of tried it and I did enjoy it in like small little doses, but now I'm like the more the better. So guys, I just had a shower, washed my hair, washed all the sweat off me. I honestly feel so much better and cleaner, but I'm just going to get ready now. I'm going to do my hair and my makeup, and I just thought I would come on here and chat to you guys while I do my makeup to kind of kill two birds with one stone. Is that the saying? I think so. Usually in my vlogs, I do more talking than I do vlogging, but for me, it's just because I like... I have so much that I want to say and I have so much in my mind that I feel like is very valid so I want to share with you guys but my vlogs always just turn into me talking and you guys listening but I personally love that like when I'm watching YouTubers I like when they've got something important to say I like when they just sit down and have like a really one-on-one -on -one chat and you feel like you're really like connecting with a person I just personally like that so I'm going to do my makeup and chat to you guys um that's another reason why i really want to start a podcast because like i honestly have so much to say but i feel like youtube isn't the plat like the best platform to say it all like i can't just every single vlog talk about something for like 40 minutes you know what i mean so i really want to start a podcast so that i just feel like that platform would be better suited for what 
I want to talk about it and how I want to talk about it and everything like that. Sorry, I'm looking over the mirrors just here. But I just wanted to talk about this really like really really nice message that i read this morning you guys know that i like to kind of have phone off time just kind of until i finish my morning routine but this morning i did go on my phone and i read like the nicest message ever like it was the best thing to sort of like start my morning off with like it was just so positive but yeah i'm not gonna say who said that to me because i'm not sure if she'd obviously want that out there but if you're watching this like you don't understand how much like i needed to hear that and how much like i was reading it just like smiling but also low-key like crying it was like intense i was like this is amazing um i'll read it to you guys hey chelsea i'm so proud of you and what you're doing and everything you're achieving you're encouraging me to do my best in life too i've been loving your post lately and it makes me so happy knowing you're living your best life and i just wanted to let you know that i appreciate you working hard to be a positive influence in your life and to the people around you i'm so glad you're encouraging healthy eating that's not damaging to people's relationship with food i think a lot of people have issues with diet and body image that we don't know about and i'm so grateful that you're showing a strong healthy image for our friends and everyone to look up to i didn't think i was going to send this big of a message and I don't want to make a big deal of messaging you or anything but I thought about telling you for a while so I thought I'd just let you know keep doing everything you're amazing I'm really proud of you like hi like literally you made me like tear up because I was just like I just felt so whole reading that and it was such a nice thoughtful message like it wasn't just someone being like oh your body's really good or hi you're really pretty obviously they're like really nice compliments as well and I love when you guys comment like anything on my post but when something's really like thought out and someone puts a lot of effort into a message I just I I love it I honestly just found that really sweet because obviously like in this industry I want to be making an influence I don't want to just be another pretty picture or another good body or another pretty person um like to me it is very important to actually make an influence and make a difference I like I don't understand how people can have hundreds and thousands of followers and not care what they're actually putting out and what messages they're spreading like I don't understand how people don't care about that like for me even though I've got such a small influence on myself like I do I'm not a big influencer whatsoever but I feel a responsibility with everything that I post I understand that I do have an influence whether it's big or small and I really don't understand how people can have hundreds and thousands of followers and not feel a responsibility to put the right messages out there and obviously not everyone's perfect I'm not saying every single message I put out there is the right message and the best message but for me I feel like what I'm talking about is valid and I feel like it really does help a lot of people. I made a post on my Instagram last night and the caption was all about intuitive eating and what healthy really means. You know, diet culture, breaking diet culture, seeing foods as good and bad, counting calories. Like I really just kind of touch base on that, which I really want to talk more about on my channel. And obviously if I start a podcast, I'd love to do just a whole episode on that because that's something I'm really passionate about. I really don't want you guys to think that I'm like talking myself up and saying like everything I say is right everyone should be like me because that's not what I'm trying to say at all but I feel a big responsibility to spread messages that I'm really passionate about with you guys because I know that it does help a lot of young girls and just girls and humans in general like it doesn't necessarily have to be girls but my audience is predominantly girls so obviously I'm gonna speak on behalf of them but I know I just really love getting those messages because it makes me kind of have that reassurance of what I'm doing is actually making a difference and obviously not every single girl is going to message me but I think just when a few of them do I'm like okay wow like this like what I'm saying is actually helping people and what I'm saying is actually having a positive impact into people's life and that to me is like the most rewarding thing ever but for me I find it really important to not just be another pretty picture with no message behind it like if that's something that I really stand by and I hope I continue to stand by that because I know there's so many you know pretty pictures out there there's so many influences that are absolutely gorgeous don't get me wrong but they have such an influence and you kind of think is their influence a negative influence or a positive influence and that's something that's really important to me like it's fine if you don't have anything like specifically to share with your followers like for me it's very health and fitness driven and also like what's the word self-improvement and kind of like living your best life manifestation low attraction like that's what i'm really passionate about so that's obviously what i'm going to share and i understand not everyone's going to have that message or anything that they actually want to share but for me my problem starts is when it's a big negative impact like are you promoting your unrealistic life your unrealistic body are you not showing anything real about your life like i like to follow people on instagram that 
yes, they may have an amazing feed and they might look amazing and have an amazing life but do they show parts of their life that are actually real or do they only show the actual glamour like for me i feel like i share a bit of both i do share some glamour when i'm on holidays and i do post you know pretty pictures but i also do show when i'm very raw and real obviously in vlogs i'm very raw and real on my instagram stories i'll post you no know, makeup on kind of what i'm doing if i've had a shit day i'll let you guys know um i kind of just like following people that can show those two sides and not only show the glamour side on every single part of their life because let's face it not every single person has a glamorous life. I think it's really important to kind of follow a lot of different Instagram accounts, girls with different body types, girls that look differently so I'm not kind of conforming to this one body type or one way to look if I'm following all the same people that kind of look that way so I kind of like to have a variety of people with different body types and the way they look and also what they pose I like to see raw footage I like to see their real lives how their day is going like I just like to see their real life like I don't care about your glamorous life and I think it's but yeah I think it's important to kind of have a variety in your following if everyone looks like they're too perfect and their life is too perfect unfollow them like it is like don't feel bad don't feel like oh my god no what am I missing out on it is so fun if you feel like they're making it a negative impact into your life unfollow I know I've done that like I like do weekly cleanses on my following I'm like bye bye you're not serving me goodbye um and it's not mean and like people might say like oh but you're just jealous blah 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 but if they're making me feel shit rather than actually making me feel good and feel inspired, um, then what's the point of following them? Sorry. I could talk about this stuff literally for days. Like, I am so passionate. And I'm not, I don't want people to think that I'm being like, I am so good. Because, like, I trust me. I know that I am not. And I know that I probably make a lot of mistakes. And I know probably not everything I say is the right thing thing but for me at least I know that I'm doing something and I'm trying to actually make a positive impact that's all I need if I only make a difference in one person's life that's all I need like as long as I'm actually having that impact on someone's life which I know that I do because a lot of you girls actually do message me about how my posts my captions my videos really do inspire you like it's incredible and it just makes me feel so like whole inside so I know that I actually am helping you guys and that's all I need like that's yeah all I need and I also don't want people to think that I'm bagging out other influencers I'm not I'm just saying like there obviously are some that are a negative impact on teen girls and just people in general and obviously showing their unrealistic life and only their unrealistic life um and all promoting really bad diet culture like I guess everyone's different but for me like I don't know, that's just how I feel. Actually, like the queen of tangents. I love me for that. But that's why I feel like, once again, podcasts are so good to me because in podcasts, I feel like you really can go on a tangent. In vlogs, I feel like I'm a bit restricted because I'm like, oh, people kind of came here for a different reason. And I'm like, hi, um, with a podcast, you would know the title, you know what it's about. And, you know, that's what you're getting. But with a vlog, I'm like, oh, do people care? <laughs> do people care about this? But I don't care. I find it valid. I think it's a really important message. So if you guys listen to all of that, I love you and I hope you guys resonated with that and you guys took something from it because I, yeah, I'm really passionate about that kind of topic and I, also if you're wondering why I'm putting makeup on, it's because I'm filming today, I'm not filming TikTok so I feel like I need to look okay for TikToks because like people are a bit judgy on it so I'm like, oh, I feel like I have to like prove myself on TikTok. <laughs> like with you guys, I don't care because you guys know like, you guys know me but on TikTok no one knows me so I'm like, oh. I feel like I have to prove myself and it's for a future video so I want to do as well as I can um but yeah <laughs> I promise I don't put this much effort into my makeup every day am I done also I've lost my eyebrow pencil and I haven't filled them in about like in for so long I'm gonna firstly do some TikToks I don't know if I should curl my hair or not <laughs> but I'll talk to you guys when I'm about to go grocery shopping. That will probably take up a whole bunch of this video. Um, but yes. 
guys okay long time no see but i'm just about to head to the shops now and get some groceries for the week i am so excited to go grocery shopping because we've had like nothing in the house all week my mum begs to differ but i'm like mum there's nothing in the house i'll just bring you guys along with me for the journey of grocery shopping and i will show you guys everything i get when i get home i need this aircon on so badly it's a really nice day today i'm literally in pajama shorts i was like i can't be freaked to get dressed but lucky in like the area i live in it's kind of socially acceptable to wear stuff like this i mean it's probably not but i treat it as if it is so yeah i usually go out of my house looking like an actual doofus doofus i've never said that in my life but you know i definitely <laughs> look like a bit of a doofus today in my pajama shorts and my champion shirt with my hair curled and a full face of makeup no worries welcome to my life Also, of course, got my reusable produce bag, so I put all my fruit and veg in one of these bags. my grocery shop for today and this is everything that I picked up so I spent $230 so I went to Woolworths and IGA I only went to IGA to get like snacks blue dinosaur bars and yeah that's about all but Woolworths I got the main stuff from I feel very insecure talking about what I get from the groceries because I feel like everyone is so opinionated on food that I'm like nervous but whatever no hate I'm not trying to say you have to buy exactly this or everything in this grocery haul is the best thing possible i just this is just what i've gotten today so i always get some avocado i only got two because we do have some at home i got some red and green capsicum mangoes which are back in season oh my god how i missed you baby how i missed you i also got some coleslaw these are really good to put in like salads and kind of make poke bowls with Lots of lime for my avocado in the morning, strawberries, blueberries, and then I have these 25% less carbs potatoes, and they are so much better than like normal potatoes. I don't know why, and like it really doesn't make that much of a difference, but it's like, I don't know, they just taste better, and even my mum says that these ones taste better. I don't know, maybe because they're smaller, don't know, they're good though. And then I just got a whole heap of bananas, and I also picked up this little one because I was like, oh, isn't she so perfect? So I picked her up as well as a whole bunch of other bananas. I got some sugar snap peas. I got some zucchini spaghetti. I usually get the sweet potato one, but they didn't have that today. So I wanted to try the zucchini spaghetti. I got a whole bunch of frozen fruit. I got strawberries and a mango, and then like frozen stir fried vegetables that are in like a Thai style. I thought that would be good if I'm like a little bit lazy one night. Don't really want to cook fresh veggies, but I still want like a quick and easy good dinner. Very, very nice. Up here, I kind of have all my essentials. So I've got brown basmati rice. I love this brand of rice and then pure basmati. I also got some pumpkin seeds. A lot of people top kind of seeds on their salads. So I want to start doing that to kind of get more nutrients in my salads. I got this gluten-free original fettuccine pasta. I'm not gluten-free, but I do like to try different food and also my sister is. So I thought if we got that, we can share that and have it for dinner one night. And then I love this soup. It is pumpkin and ginger soup. I love pumpkin soup. It's like the only soup I'll eat. And it's got ginger in as well, which is so good for you. But I personally don't really like the taste of it. But, but because it's so like kind of chopped up in a soup, you can't taste it whatsoever. Got some gnocchi, normal gnocchi and pumpkin gnocchi. I also just picked up these porridge sachets. And I have never actually tried these before. But they're in the flavor golden maple. Yeah, golden maple. Never tried them. We'll let you know how I think. And some sugar-free maple syrup. I also like to top that or maybe some like protein pancakes. Got some chicken, just two packets of chicken. I got some Lebanese bread and these wraps are amazing. So they are sweet potato, are they? 
cut yet. Sweet potato wraps. I've had these before and they are so good. They're vegan. Um, if you guys are vegan and they're just, yeah, they're just really, really good and have a nice flavor to them. They're not boring. Pretty sure they're gluten free as well. Yep, gluten free. So if you guys are gluten free, good, good, good. Got some eggs. Personally, I don't really eat eggs that much myself, but my family does. So I picked a carton up for them. I got some almond milk. This is the almond milk I use, if you guys are wondering. And then just a whole bunch of snacks. I usually am not a big snacker, but I feel like they're always just good to have in the house. If you're hungry, can't be bothered to cook, you can always just snack, you know what I mean? So I just got a whole bunch of snacks. These are amazing. Favorite movie snack of all time. Hummus chips, quinoa chips. That's what I was eating in the car. Very, very delicious. And then I also just got these blue dinosaur paleo bars. Mac lemon and lemmington are my absolute favorite. And then I got this Chobani flip. I don't really eat dairy and yogurt in general, but I did have one of these at my friend's house. And they were pretty good, so I decided to get one because I actually quite enjoyed it. Some guacamole to have with corn chips, avocado oil. I, I'm pretty sure we've got this at home. I don't know why I bought this. Um, and then I just got some sauces, teriyaki chicken, satay chicken, and this pasta sauce. I've never tried this, but I thought I would give it a go. Aioli, of course. So freaking yum. And then this pizza base sauce. This is the one I always get. So that's all the groceries I bought for this week. We did already have quite a bit at home like vegetable wise we have a lot of green vegetables a lot of sweet potato which i love baby spinach oh so freaking good we already had quite a bit of all that at home so no need to get that today but this is just like the stuff that we didn't have and that we still needed to get and lastly, I just wanted to show you guys these organic pads. So this is by the brand Tom. I've recently really been educating myself on like organic tampons and pads. And I found out about this brand and I was like, I have to get them. I didn't even know how bad feminine products were. So I'm so glad I am very well educated now. And I'm now going to get these from now on. They oh my God. It honestly just feels so good to like lie down for the first time today. Alrighty guys, I think I'm just going to end the video off here because the main reason I sort of wanted to film this video in the first place was to kind of share with you guys what I get when I go grocery shopping and share like a grocery shop haul as that is like so highly requested but I kind of thought I would integrate it into like a vlog so it's a little bit more interesting for you guys to watch and you also got to see like a morning workout that I did this morning which was, oh, I'm still kind of dead. I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope you guys did enjoy it and if you guys did, please let me know by giving it a big thumbs up. It really helps and supports my channel i want to thank you guys as well for all the constant love and support on my instagram and obviously my videos like it just makes me feel so whole inside and i honestly do appreciate it i appreciate every single one of you guys and when you guys message me it's honestly so just nice to see and if you guys are new here i would love if you could join this family we are all about good vibes spreading good vibrations and living our best lives so i would love if you could click that subscribe button and turn the post notifications on so you guys don't miss out on any of my uploads but i love you all so so much and i hope to see you in my next video Mwah.